Go. Ballet Etc. has issued a dance challenge to the local business community in hopes their employees would step up, put their best feet forward, and leave it all on the dance floor for a worthwhile cause. It's our third annual paper bag ball. Uh, basically, uh, our objective is to throw uh, a really great party for 400 people. And all the proceeds, everything that we earn that evening goes towards uh, community care initiatives and to kick off the Christmas campaign. It's an evening full of uh, great food, great music, uh, the, the associates are playing, there's lots of dancing, there's a live and silent auction, and this year we have uh, an, an, added, an added bit of excitement happening. We've got a dance-off. Owner-director Jane Elliott is choreographing the dance-off. It's so secretive, none of the teams have been able to see each other's routine. We have um, Henley Honda and Subaru with Alex DeGenis at the helm. We've got Stacy Pollard Real Estate and the Corkscrewed Guys, and they're doing hip hop. And a group of ballet, etc. dads uh, doing a contemporary routine. You can expect three very different routines, um, pretty much the same level in all of them. Each group's had uh, four practices, so approximately five to six hours of rehearsal each. Um, that night, we're going to draw from a hat to see who goes first. There's three judges, so we have our mayor, Walter Senzik, we also have Alice Burke, and we also have Betty Lou Suter, the head of community care. So those three individuals will determine which is the best team, and um, Meridian will be presenting an award to the team that raises the most money. The competition is meant to be friendly, but the chirping is not. Hey, uh, Stacey Pollard and uh, Corkscrew, we caught your, uh, your hip-hop routine. Ooh, and it's, uh, it is definitely streets. Like, um, on Garbage Day? Yeah! Yeah! Garbage! Selling Honda and Subarus is what we do. But dancing is who we are. Henley Honda and Dance Dads, whoever you may be, we will catch your dreams. And we will take them down, and we will hip-hop and hip-hop hop all over them. Every dancer has committed to raising $500 for community care, no matter how embarrassing they might look. So there is a link on the community care website that you can click on Paper Bag Ball and sponsor a team or a dancer. So if you know any of the dancers that are participating on any of those teams, they would appreciate your donation. Just make sure you mention their name uh, in the information box so that that donation goes directly towards their $500. You can also buy a ticket. We have a website. It's uh, paperbagball.ca. All the information for sponsorship and buying tickets is there. We're just about sold out. Uh, if there's a particular dancer that you, that you know uh, and you'd like to see them dance, you'd like to support them, it would be terrific if you, uh, if you came out and bought some tickets. Uh, it just, it's just nice to see a, a nice big crowd and, and just, just to have a big party with our community and kick off the, the holiday season together. So we'd love it if, if you could join us. The Paper Bag Ball takes place Saturday, November 3rd at Club Italia in Niagara Falls. To find out more information on how you can purchase tickets or sponsor a dancer, visit paperbagball.ca. Reporting for The Source, I'm Mark Wickerbredo.